Okay, so I'm back with another tutorial, and this one is going to be about combination locks. And many people think that it is very hard to make them, but it's actually not that hard. And so I've made an AND gate, which basically means that all of these torches have to be powered off in order for this one to activate, which in turn opens the door. And it does this by when this redstone is powered it will uh, turn off this torch which turns on this torch which opens the door okay so now to the actual combination lock part what you want to do is hook it up to the torches like this and this is obviously not a very efficient uh, AND gate and there are better ways to do it but for now we'll use this one and what you need to do is hook them up to all of these blocks and put levers on all of them and so this isn't too complicated so far but really all the person has to do to open it now is just hit all the levers and the door will open but if you want to set a combination this is where you actually have to set it up sort of and so if you want one of them to not activate it if you want it to be a false one and you place a block and place a torch so we'll just do this pretty straightforward okay so now it's a lot harder to open it so let's put them all back in the normal position now these three have to be up while the others have to be down so that is how you set a combination for it and you can really set this in any way you want and the easiest way to get it how